So far in this section, we've learned to determine graphable characteristics from polynomial functions in standard form, like this, y equals 12x to the 4 minus 46x cubed plus 8x squared plus 46x minus 20. But what if I gave you the same polynomial in factored form, like this, y equals 2 times x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 times x minus 1 times 3x minus 10? Well, this is very useful when trying to determine the roots, but do we need to expand this to figure out the y-intercept, which is the same as the constant term, and for that matter, the leading coefficient and degree? The answer is no. We can determine all of these characteristics from the factored form. The y-intercept can be found if we substitute x equals 0 and then multiply the constant terms of all the factors. For this example, the substitution looks like this leaving us with 2 times 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 10, which is equal to negative 20. Lo and behold, this matches the constant term and y-intercept of the expanded form. Similarly, the leading coefficient can be found if we multiply the leading coefficients of all the factors. In this example, the factor 2 is its own leading coefficient. Then the factor x plus 1 has an implied leading coefficient of 1, the 2x minus 1 has a leading coefficient of 2, the x minus 1 again has an implied leading coefficient of 1, and finally the 3x minus 10 has a leading coefficient of 3. So we have 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 times 3, which is equal to 12. Again, this matches with what we see in the expanded form above. This is great, but most of the time we're only concerned with the sign of the leading coefficient which you may have picked up on from the lesson on end behavior. You can determine the sign of the leading coefficient if you multiply the signs of the leading coefficients of all the factors. In this example, all the factors have positive leading coefficients, giving us five positives being multiplied, so the product of the signs is positive. Again, this matches with what we see in the expanded form above. Finally, we can determine the degree if we add the degrees of all the factors. For this example, we have one factor of degree 0, and the rest are of degree 1, giving us 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 4. Once again, this matches with the degree we can observe in the expanded form above. Okay, that's all for this video. Hopefully you're now comfortable determining these characteristics from the factored form of a polynomial.